Hello everyone and welcome to our Facebook Live today. I am so excited to be here because I have a super cute project that I want to show you. I got together with my team last night. We had our monthly stamp and share event and we had several people here. We actually had to reschedule because the weather here in Indiana was, has just been horrible. We usually meet on the second Monday of every month, but we had lots of ice coming and it just was horrible road conditions. So we rescheduled to last night. Most everybody could attend. Uh, we had a great time. We always do, um, we have some business training. We had a really cool presentation that um, Janet did about taking care of our stamp and trimmer and some other tips for our tools. That was awesome. I love my team when they share. And um, we also did some make and takes using some new products that are coming out tomorrow, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, and just had a fabulous time. A lot of people bring stuff to share, to show that they've created. We have a whole showcase table. It's just a really fun event. I just love getting together with my two cool team. Speaking of my two cool team, I thought what better way to get started um, just as people are trying to get onto the video and finding us this morning. Good morning, those of you who made it. I see Jerry is watching and I had forgotten last week after the Facebook Live was over, I was um, I was getting ready to go out of town for the weekend for a stamping event and I had forgotten to select a winner from our Facebook Live. So I did that this morning because I was reminded, oh shoot, I need to do that. So the winner was Jerry Stringer and I see that she is watching. So I will be sending out our cards. Um, we made, made some cards last week with the All Adorn stamp set and she gets the supplies to make three of those cards. So not just two cool cards, but cool cards. Sometimes we need a bonus. So congratulations to Jerry. Anyway, we were talking about my team and I wanted to give a shout out to some of my new team members. Now these are not all my new team members, um, but my some of them are my team's new team members, but they're all part of my Too Cool team. And, I, and these are just people from this week. So I was really excited. Our team is just really exploding. Um, but I wanted to give a shout out to our new team members just in case if they watch uh, the video this morning or catch it on the replay later on. They can see. So let's uh, welcome to the Two Cool team Shirley Meyer from Hoagland, Indiana, Pamela Cash Dollar from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Alyssa Johnson from Kendallville, Indiana, uh, Belinda Snow from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Helen Huffman from Montpelier, Ohio, Carla Qualls from Arnold, Missouri, uh, Susan Lieber from Eureka, Mu blah, Eureka Missouri, <laughs> and Christy Lincoln from Battleground, Washington. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love when we have new team members. This, uh, you know, if you have, if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, the $99 starter kit, it's just a phenomenal deal right now. It's always a great deal because typically you pay $99 and you can choose $125 worth of products, any current products in the catalog. And now during celebration through the end of March, you pay just that $99 fee plus tax, you get free shipping and you can select 179 or 70 not 79, $75 worth of product. $175. That's for only $99, it's so awesome. And free shipping, that's like 10% discount right there. So it's just, um, it's a phenomenal deal. If you have any qualms about doing it, I'm telling you, you shouldn't. It, this is a no brainer. If you have a big wish list, if you've been thinking about signing up to be a demonstrator, um, the most awesome part is not only do you get this awesome kit, but then you can have all your future orders are 20% off. So it's kind of like a, Sam's Club or a Costco, you're buying into a discount club. So I love the starter kit. It's so, so versatile. You pick whatever you want to from the occasions catalog, the annual catalog, whatever you want. You can even, right now, it's a day early for the second release celebration items. You can even purchase those items right now instead of earn them. So if you want some of those items that I'm showing you today and you don't want to have to earn them, Today's the last day, but you can put them on your starter kit. That's so awesome. And don't forget, that's the $99 starter kit. If you have the $129 starter kit, then you actually can get the craft and carry tote, which I was going to bring it over here to show you, but 
maybe I'll do that later, but that's this tote. It is so awesome. Super big. You can actually fit a whole big shot in there if you wanted to. I tried it. And that's a whole, that's only, a holla. I'm just tongue tied today. $129 and, uh, and tax. So just, just some change on that. If you have tax in your area, maybe you don't. Um, no, there's free shipping on that. And again, $175 worth of product to go with that tote. So that's just $129. And again, if you want to purchase some of these items that I'm going to show you in a minute from our second release celebration that's coming up tomorrow, tomorrow you'll have to earn them. Today you can purchase them so um, you can use it as a part of your starter kit to get all those phenomenal products. So anyway, wanted to give that uh, information out, to, out there. We're going to be doing a giveaway. I do a giveaway on every Facebook Live, and I will tell you what the giveaway is at the end. So just stay tuned um, because it always has to do with the project that we're doing, and I don't want to give that away yet. I need a little, you know, reveal as we go. So uh, good morning to everybody. I see on here, I see Kathy, I see Sarah. Thank you for joining me this morning. We're going to flip the camera around and turn on some lights and then I'll show you um, the second release items that are coming out tomorrow, the celebration items. So let me come up close here and we're going to flip you around and also move the camera. Hang on. Okay, let's get situated here whoop taking you for a ride okay I also want to get some lights on so pardon me as I turn on the studio if I put the lights on early it makes me look all washed out and crazy when I'm talking to you from <laughs> from the front so anyway okay let me show you all about our second release you know currently we have celebration going on and you can still order everything from or earn everything from this catalog with the exception of the organdy ribbon combo pack right now that is um, non orderable or non earnable um, they're going to get one more shipment of that in sometime should be coming up pretty soon I'll let you know when that happens there's just going to be a small window of being able to earn that but everything else in this catalog is still available and the awesome part as a little sneak peek, I did a sneak peek, um, was it last week, of the celebration coordination items that are coming out in March, and there's some really awesome framelits that are coming out to coordinate with the So Happy Together, the, um, the, there's a punch for the part of my story, there's some framelits for The Lasting Lily. Anyway, we'll talk more about that later because that comes out in March, or you can watch my replay from last week. Okay, but tomorrow what happens is they do a second release of celebration items. So maybe you've already earned all that you want from the first brochure. That's okay. We have some new ones to choose from. So we have the new All Adorned stamp set. So I'll show you that. And we, we focused on that last week in our Facebook Live. I did a really cute card with that. Then we also have the Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. That's kind of a mouthful, but here it is. And I texturized something so that you can see what it looks like. So you can see it really is a, just a pretty floral pattern. It's a dynamic folder. Do you know what those are? Those are the really thick ones that get the very deep, detailed embossing. And they're just beautiful. A lot of times to really bring that embossing out, I can see I, I put this through really quickly and there's a little bit of cracking. You can probably see that a little bit um, because it's so detailed with the embossing. What you can do is you can actually spritz that with a little bit of water, just lightly mist it and then run it through and that's gonna help. Uh, you won't get as much of the cracking happening, but it's just so beautiful because it's such detailed. I just love that. So that's the Country Floral. So those two products, both the All Adorn stamp set and the Country Floral texture embossing folder, you can earn those starting tomorrow for just a $50 order. $50 for one, $50, another $50 for two. Um, 
but you can earn those. So I love that. And remember, like I mentioned earlier, if you just want to purchase those outright without, you don't want to spend a whole hundred dollars in order to get these two free, you can spend just $99 and select these as part of your $99 and be able to select up to $175 worth of product. But that's today only when you purchase that starter kit. I love that little option that they give you. Okay, third selection that they are coming out with is the new Painted Seasons bundle with a stamp set and paper. This is so awesome. I was going to say the bomb. I never say the bomb. Why would I ever say that? Anyway, <laughs> I love the stamp set. It is uh, one of those distinctive stamp sets. Distinctive, which means it has a lot of detailed dot work in here a dot pattern kind of like a photo in a newspaper so it gives you a lot of beautiful details and then it's actually a bundle that includes the stamp set and also designer series paper you're going to get 12 12 by 12 sheets you're going to have four double-sided designs so three each of four designs and it's called the painted seasons designer series paper but i love it because it actually covers four seasons so you can see this pretty pattern here it's kind of like a summer this one's kind of like a spring and somebody said they look like artichokes i i guess that's true they do kind of look like artichokes but they're pretty nonetheless and fall some really cute mushrooms and some little acorns and then the winter that is so pretty that'll be beautiful for you know, you could do some Christmas in February cards. You really should start making Christmas cards right away because I was so far behind last year, I didn't even get many out. So. so those are the four patterns. Then you also have the patterns on the back. And I love this because they're just some fun shapes, some fun patterns in some coordinating colors so that you can mix and match all of your fronts and backs with the different shades. Isn't that awesome? I love this paper. So you get three each of all four of those designs. So again, you can purchase this separately today in your starter kit, just the paper. If you just like that, or if you just like the stamp set, you can purchase that today with your starter kit, but tomorrow you'll need to earn that. Now to earn this bundle, it's $100. So it's a level two selection. You'll need to have a $100 order to earn this uh, starting tomorrow. And then that runs through the end of celebration, March 31st. Okay, so I will be doing more Facebook Lives on, um, on using this paper and these beautiful project or products as we go uh, through the promotion. But today I wanted to focus on a different project. I wanted to, um, when I get together with my team, I usually have a little table favor at all of their seats. And so this is what I put on their table today, or yesterday I should say. And it's this cute little double pocket pouch. So a little pouch here, and then a little pouch in the back, and then it just sits on the table. And it's so handy. This is perfect for any kind of get together. You could do it in Easter colors and have it as a little table favor on your, your Easter table. Um, it's just like a shower. If you have a bridal shower, a wedding shower, actually even a wedding reception, depending on the papers and you know how you embellish it, you can really dress it up and make it fancy. You could do it for a baby shower, get some cute pastels and a cute little baby saying. It's just a fun little favor that you can put lots of things in. So uh, what I did when I gave them to my team, I had a little Ghirardelli chocolate in there. You can actually put one in both sides if you wanted to. I would have normally liked to match, this This drives me crazy, I don't know about you. I like to match my Ghirardelli chocolate to my paper, but I had a lot of leftovers from my craft fair and I can't eat all of those. I mean, I shouldn't, I could, but I shouldn't. So I, uh, I filled those with some of my leftover peppermint bark from my craft fair, because I need to get rid of those. So hopefully they like those. But I love how the Ghirardelli fits right in there. You can also, you can just make a little uh, two by three card and put that in there with a little message. You can also put a gift card. So it makes a great gift card holder. Just stick that in there. You could have, if you were giving two gift cards away, 
You could put one in each side or maybe a gift card in one side and a little candy in the other. So that's a cute idea. And then in the last idea I had was to just put little uh, three by three note cards in there. So I made some matching um, note cards that fit right in. There's one and here's another. And it's all using that same paper. So you could put one in each side, <clears throat> excuse me, or maybe a gift card on one side and a little note on the other. Or you could do a whole bunch of cards and make a little gift set of little cute little thank you cards that um, maybe the bride could give away um, to some of her, you know, whoever sends her a gift. Anyway, lots of fun ideas with this double pocket uh, pouch. So I'm going to show you how to make it. First of all, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, first of all, I want to show you that I am using the Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper to make these cute pouches. So everything you see here is made with the Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper. Uh, it's item 148795. It's just $11. And I love, like all of Stampin' Up's paper, it has gorgeous double-sided patterns. So when you're making this project, you can see both coordinating sides. So I love that there's, they're just so fun. Primary colors, bold and bright and cheery. This will make somebody's day. You know, you have a coworker that might have a little birthday or maybe they're not feeling their best. Maybe they're going through a rough time or they're, they've been sick and they, maybe they're gonna retire. All kinds of different occasions that you can use this and just sit something cute on their desk and let them know that you're thinking about them. So these are lots lots of fun little ideas, and I love this paper for that purpose. So that, that's, again, the Happiness Blooms paper, and, um, and then everything we use on here pretty much is from that same suite, and I'll show you that as we make the project. So let's go ahead and make one of these pouches. And I'm going to start by bringing my Simply Scored tool over. I love the Simply Scored tool. It makes scoring super easy, especially if you're doing if you're doing a whole lot of projects, mass producing. This will make scoring really easy for you. So you're going to start with an eight by eight inch piece of paper, and I really like this pattern. So this is the one I wanted to start with. The first thing you're going to do is just fold that paper in half diagonally. So you're just going to do that. You're going to use your bone folder and score that nice and crisp. Then we're just going to do a few score lines. And these are super easy. They're not complicated at all, I promise you. You're going to put that flat edge right against the edge of your Simply Scored and just um, go down the one inch mark. So you'll be there. You're going to use your the small end of your tool Actually, yeah, I want. I think the small end will be good. Usually you don't want to use the small end on designer series paper if you're just using a single layer because that could actually rip the paper. You want to use the larger end and that won't go through the paper. Now because we're going through two layers here, I think that the small end will work just fine to go through both layers. So you'll go through that and you're going to score all the way down the one inch mark. Now, I want to give you a tip because I just did it here. <laughs> I already have mine pre-scored if you haven't figured that out. But when you're scoring, if you hold your stylus like this going down like this, you're going to jump the track. If you hold it, I like to actually hold it like this with my index finger and hold it so that it's parallel with the lines. And when you do that and then put even pressure on it, it's going to stay in that track. Have you ever had that happen? So again, if you, you know, if you have it out here and it's not parallel, and especially when you hold it up like a pencil, it tends to, as you push on it, it's going to skip over to the other, um, the other grooves. So I, I just did it. <laughs> so I wanted to, to let you know to be aware of that. Okay, so we have our one inch score line going down the side. Next, you're going to put that flat edge up against the, the top and you're going to score again at three and three quarter. Again, we're going to make this go perpendicular, or not perpendicular, no, parallel <laughs> to the grooves and we're going to score it at three and three quarters. Then you're going to flip it over and do the same thing at the other point, three and three quarters. And that's all you need for scoring. So simple with the scoring. Now, 
you're gonna open it up and this is when you're gonna decide which way do I want my pattern to go. This is gonna be the inside for mine and this is gonna be the outside. So I'm gonna fold on those score lines that I just did, the three and three quarter score lines. I'll fold those in and remember you wanna use your bone folder and give it a nice good crease so it's nice and crisp. Then you're gonna fold up and meet those points in the middle. Again, giving it a nice crease. And then you're gonna fold back on that one inch score line that you did. And I'm just gonna do that on both sides and give it a nice good crease again. And that is the basic shape. So you have this cute little pouch. There's no, there's only a couple of score lines. There's absolutely no adhesive that you're using to make this and I love it. So all we need to do now is decorate it. Super cute. Okay, so we're gonna close it up. I said no adhesive, but I, I kind of lied because I like to use adhesive to cheat. You don't need adhesive, but when I was making these, I felt like I needed to have a little cheat to hold these. I wanted them to be perfect and actually have those, those points meet perfectly up here. So I just got a little glue dot and put them, put it right on one of the points. That way I knew that that baby was gonna stay where I wanted it to. And then when I went in to do my punch work, just gonna punch a little 1 8 inch hole punch there. Then I knew that, that those two um, points were gonna stay together and I, they just would look nice. That just tends to happen sometimes and I thought that would help. Anyway, okay, on mine, I actually, um, I forgot that I did this, but I actually rounded the corners. There's the trio, trio punch, trio detail punch. Now I can't remember the name of it, but it has the three different um, utility punches, basically, and it has a corner rounder punch on there. I use that to round it. You actually don't even really need to because your ribbon is gonna cover that up, but it'll, I think your ribbon will lay a little bit nicer. You won't have a little crinkled tip on the top. So just one thing you might wanna try. You can also use your um, envelope punch board, I think has a corner rounder as well. So I'm just gonna thread through the Calypso Coral Satin Ribbon. This is the 3 8 inch ribbon. And I actually made it way too long. You wouldn't need to make it that long. This just was a piece I had sitting around. Um, I'm assuming if you made it about, let's see. I'll have to give you the dimensions. I would say six or eight inches, probably eight inches, just so it gives you a nice um, length of ribbon to work with. And I'm just going to tie a double knot. Doesn't have to be fancy. So tie a little double knot. You can kind of rearrange these as you're tightening them so that they'll stick up. And then I just trim these off. Easy peasy, I love that. Okay, then we're going to have, we're gonna decorate it a little bit. So I decorated um, with the Hello Cupcake sentiment, celebrate your day. And there is a coordinating stamp set. The Bloom by Bloom stamp set um, goes beautifully with this paper. It's meant to go with this paper. It's from the Happiness Bloom Suite, but it doesn't have any sentiments. So I decided to use this, this nice little sentiment from uh, Hello Cupcake. So let's do that. I'm gonna bring my piercing mat over. I like to, it's a photopolymer punch, so I like to have that mat there to have a nice clean image. And I'm gonna use Knight of Navy ink. Tap, tap, tap. Celebrate your day. Really pretty. Then I'm going to punch that out with a brand new Story Label Punch. And this is one of the products that's coming out in March. And this will be a limited release. It's only available in the month of March. And it's part of the Celebration Coordination release and I love it because it goes with the part of my story stamp set. 
So I'll talk to you more about that at another time, but it's such a basic shape and it's such a pretty shape that you'll be able to use this with a lot of different sentiments. It's very, very versatile. So here I'm just gonna center that and punch. So here's this piece. I've already pre-punched or pre-die cut the oval, the Call Me Clover oval, and I did that with the layering ovals framelits. This, this is so handy. This is a must-have framelit set if you don't have it. Uh, it's number 141706, and it just has all kinds of sizes of ovals and also scalloped ovals. So I use this one a lot. It's perfect for layering, hence the name layering ovals, right? So I'm gonna pop that up on this oval with some dimensionals and whoops crazy dimensionals <laughs> they fly everywhere all right so we'll pop that up there then we're going to decorate this one with um this cute little flower actually comes from, what's it called? It's called the Biddy Blooms Punch Pack. So this is a coordinating punch pack that comes with, it actually you can get it in part of the bundle with the stamp set. Let me show you here so you can see it a little better. So you can get the stamp set separately or you can get it in a bundle um, or you can just buy the punches separately, but it has this Biddy Blooms Punch Pack and you get all four punches and it's $23. It's 148532 is the number, 148532. And I don't know if you can see the, there, we'll just turn them over because you can see the shapes a little better. So you have a little bloom, another little flower here, and a third shape of flower here. And then everyone's like, what is this one? What is that? And it's actually, let's see if I can get the light to pick that up from the front. So you can see there's a, a circle and then kind of an oblong shape. This is actually the center of the flower. Circle is the center and then the oblong shape are leaves. So if you want to add little tiny leaves to go with your tiny flowers, bitty blooms, <laughs> then that is what you use. So we're going to use, let's see, I'm going to use this one today. They're all so cute. I'm going to punch out a little flower. So cute. And then I'm also going to punch out the center shape. So you'll have that as well. Now normally I would probably want to use some Tombow glue, some of the liquid glue to adhere that. I didn't bring it over here and plus it's kind of messy. Um, so I try not to use it even though it's probably the best for this purpose. But the fortunate thing is you can put that dot right over the top of a glue dot. It's exactly the same size. And it actually kind of pops it up just a tad bit on your flower. So there's our flower. And we'll use another glue dot to add that to the side. Aw, so sweet. And that's not all. We're going to top it off with one of the coordinating enamel dots. These are so cute. They're called Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. Again, part of the suite. They're $7 and it's 148805 if you want to order that today. And they, I love that they come in all of the coordinating primary colors. So we're going to use our Take a Pick tool. I love this tool. It has a little spatula end. And I normally like to use the um, piercing tool to pick up these cute little elements, but this one works perfectly because it's a little spatula. So I'm gonna, let's see, let's put one of these yellow ones. Obviously I like the yellow because there's a lot of them missing. So I'm gonna just scoop that up with my spatula and put it exactly where I want to. And it makes a cute little flower. I love that. Bitty Bloom Flower. So that is our decoration for our um, little pouch here. And then to adhere it, we just want to make sure that we don't adhere the top part so it sticks to the back. So to do that, just to kind of ensure that we're not going to do that, because I like to give myself little safeties, a little safety net, so I don't mess up 
So I'm going to kind of see where that's going to go, and then I'm going to actually put the dimensionals on the pouch. So that's going to help me not stick it to the back, and then line that sentiment right up on your pouch. And then, ta-da! Perfect. Now, I did find, after I put my Ghirardelli chocolates in, if you don't have the, if you put the dimensionals down a little too far, um, that it might gap open just a little bit and kind of hang, kind of just like hang there a little bit. Um, you'll know what I mean if it happens to you. <laughs> but if that happens, I would use one of these little, um, the mini glue or mini dimensionals. Do you guys ever get these? These are so handy for small, tiny little areas. They're the same thing as the dimensionals. They're just in mini version. They're like a little quarter inch version of them. So I'm just going to put that at the end of my take your pick tool or not. Woo! And I could just kind of stick that in there. And that way that's not going to like hang open. You'll see what I mean. If you put, um, this one I did pretty good, but some of them, if you put your candy on the inside, then it kind of, it kind of gaps open and you don't want that to happen. So that will help you. Uh, if that tends to happen, you can put just a little glue dot or a little mini dimensional on each side and that'll help you. Okay. So that is, um, our project for today. Oh no, 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 no. What am I saying? I didn't fit. I didn't put the rest of my my little enamel dots on there. Let's scoop one of these up. They're not gonna wanna come off. Uh-huh. There we go. So I'm gonna put a couple more on there because we just need to have some coordination. This one is not, for some reason, that spatula, I think it'd be better with the piercing tool on this particular one because it has like a, um, like a plastic backing and I can't get underneath it very well. There we go. So a couple more of those enamel dots. You have to have enough bling on there to make it shiny. So that is our project today. Again, that all comes from the Happiness Blooms suite. You can find that on page 25 of your Occasions catalog. If you need a catalog, just let me know. I'll be happy to send that out to you. Um, our prize giveaway today. What are we giving away for the prize? Well, let me tell you. I'm gonna give away this uh, pouch that I just made. I'll even add in one of the Ghirardelli chocolates because I really do need to get rid of those before they go bad, right? They're just from Christmas, so they're still good. And you're also gonna get another one of these pouches. So two cool pouches, and they'll both have chocolate in them. And all you need to do um, is anyone who commented today, I'm gonna to do a random drawing for anyone who comments, and that is open until 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um, so it's only for basically the live and people who are watching the live replay on my VIP group. And then I will draw that name tomorrow. Also, if you are interested in ordering from me, I do have a monthly host code that you can use in order to get some a free little gift from me. So if you want to use the SEJ, 42WVJ host code. You just go to, um, I have here my actual uh, online ordering, but you can go to twocoolstamping.com. I have a shop now button there that'll take you to my online store. Shop for what you want, earn your celebration products that you want to earn. When you go to the shopping cart page, right at the bottom, there's a little place to put this host code. And so that's the one you put in there. With just a $50 order, uh, you'll not only earn that celebration, but you'll also get 25 free sweet project sheets. And I'm featuring eight project sheets from the All My Love Suite, seven from the Floral Romance Suite, and 10 from the Happiness Blooms Suite. So if you're interested in all of these pro products with the Happiness Blooms, you're gonna have a lot of ideas that you can use with those new pro products, including the stamp set, uh, and that'll really help you, you know, boost your creativity and inspire you that way. And I just want to do a little caveat. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I didn't even mention that, but I wanted to let you know that even though we're using the, I have the All My Love Sweet project sheets here, they're not Valentine's necessarily. They do have some sentiments that say you are loved, but you can use that on a lot of occasions. And these projects are not specific to Valentine's. So don't feel like you're getting 
you know, projects that you can't use until next year. These are actually good for weddings and just thinking of you and Mother's Day, all kinds of fun projects for that. So all of these projects, 25 project ideas, and I'll send you that PDF with a $50 order to my Too Cool Stamping online store. Okay, everybody, I think that that is all we have for today. I thank you so much for joining me. I see that there's some people that are commenting, and I'll go back through and scroll through, so please feel free to comment. Even if it's not live, if you're watching the replay, please comment. I do go back through and look at the comments, and I'll follow up with you. Thank you so much again for spending time with me, and I hope to talk to you very soon. This is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.